we first demonstrate viewfinder editing. The user is presented with a live HDR viewfinder that performs real-time image registration, blending, and tone mapping. The viewfinder acts as a live canvas, allowing the user to make edits directly. The user first selects the floor by making a stroke across it. The selection is based on texture, and as such, other regions of similar appearance are also selected. The user now selects the type of edit and specifies its extent by making a horizontal stroke. In this case, he chose to deepen the color of the floor. Note that the edit is visualized in real time. The user now brightens the left wall and saturates some objects. The user now brightens the couch until the groups are apparent. Once the user is satisfied with the edit and composition, he can proceed to capture. Our texture-based edit propagation is robust enough to handle complex motion. The user selects the pattern on this faded ball and accentuates its tone and color. Note that the edit persists despite significant motion and motion blur. Because the edits are applied as the video is encoded, the user can immediately share or upload the video without having to revisit it later. Here we show our edit propagation running on a tablet. In this example, the user brightens the red blanket. The edit persists despite camera motion and occlusion. The edits are automatically applied to the final image that user captures. We also show the same image without the edits for reference. In this example, knowing that the user has brightened the statue allows our metering to capture a longer exposure than otherwise, to ensure that the brightened statue will remain noise-free. Consider this example in which the child's face has been brightened. Compared to other metering methods, our result has less motion artifact in the child's face and less noise in the midtones. Here we show more results of our HDR application. In this example, the user selects the white statue and darkens it in order to bring out the details. In this example, the user brightens the sculpture under the tree shadow. In this application, we stream images at multiple focal distances and recompose them on the fly to satisfy a user's specification of sharpness or blurriness. In this example, the user selects the foreground and brings it into focus, and selects the background and blurs it, simulating a wider aperture than is possible on the tablet. Compare our result to an actual photograph focused in the foreground. Our result successfully simulates a considerably larger aperture than what is available on the camera. In this example, the user selects the target object and sharpens it. Note that other objects at the same depth remain blurry. A conventional camera is unable to tame such non-physical depths of field. Please refer to the paper for technical details. Thank you for your attention.